Alrighty, in this little segment we're going to show how to use a uh, fabric tester. Uh, the part we're going to use is the Quicksilver fabric tester. It's called, um, uh, the part number is 60033. And when you get the fabric tester it comes with everything you need to do the test. Um, it's, it's actually a two part uh, component. You have the first part which is the plunger and then the second part is the actual um, is the actual tip that we're going to use to push through the fabric and what happens is when you try to put this in over this piece of rubber the tip is a little loose so what we like to do is we'll take a little piece of fuel line we'll cut a little piece of fuel line, this is quarter inch fuel line, we'll cut a little piece oh, about a half inch long and then we'll slide that over this tip and that takes up some of the space and then that puts a tight fit onto the plunger. What the instructions call for on the uh, stabilized Dacron sails is 10 pounds for the uh, surfaces. So what we've got is we have our O-ring, our gauge set, and I've got that set to 10 pounds now, but the way you would set it is you push the O-ring forward and then push, let's see where's he at here, this one's, this one's kind of old so you're hard to see, but you push the o-ring until it's sitting right at 10 pounds right there now that's the distance that we're going to stop pushing when we do an out test so what we do what i have here is a rudder it's got a uh, clear coat on it this rudder is several years old but uh, the customer has told me that even though it's got the clear coat on it the top of the rudder is in the sun so he had suspected that the rudder was uh, uh, bad and he brought it to us to test and so this is what we're doing here now we'll show you so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this tip on the fabric next to the seam because the seam is the weakest part of the fabric so I'm putting it right on the uh, right next to the seam and I'm gonna push down until we get to our o-ring if it goes through before I get to the o-ring this surface is not uh, serviceable so we're gonna keep pushing till we get to the 10 and if it doesn't go through it's okay Am I there yet? Right, oh, right as it touched, it went through. And what that does is that makes a hole in the sail, and that popping noise tells us that this sail is not is not a serviceable sail because it's it went through, it ripped. Now, the lower part of this rudder, the lower part of this rudder, when I tried it earlier we found that the lower part of the rudder was still serviceable however we can't do that we have to have the whole rudder to fly so what we're going to do is I'm going to do the little demonstration down here and we're going to go to 10 pounds and you see that it's not going to go through I'm just going to show you what that looks like that's a previous punch that I did so we're going to push right by the seam I'm going to go all the way to 10 pounds and it didn't go through so this part of the rudder passed the blue part of the rudder passed you see it just made a slight dimple but it didn't go through so in our opinion from the test that we're doing right here with the punch test because the top of the rudder failed this surface is not usable and we'll complete this test we'll do the same test for the both the ailerons the top and bottom surface of the wing we'll do the trailing edge of the wing we'll do the leading edge of the wing we'll do the horizontal stabilizer and we'll do the elevator and if the punch goes through it needs to be replaced if it doesn't go through it's still serviceable so that's how the 60033 quicksilver sail test kit works